Now let's talk about a few ways to grow the revenue in your business with licensing deals. There are a lot of licensing opportunities out there that most people don't even realize. So this is something you may want to investigate and look into uh, to expand your business. So the first opportunity is to essentially license your products to sellers in other countries. And this is great for info products or online courses like I already mentioned in the overview lesson. You know, it's if you have an info product that sells and it could be to any market, whether it's dating, health and fitness, as long as it's not some kind of a cultural mismatch there where it, you know, deals with some topic that doesn't relate to another market or another country, I should say, in their culture. But in, you know, for weight loss, fitness, you know, making money, marketing, you know, real estate, things like that. Although there are some differences in those markets, especially like real estate, there could be some procedural differences or legal differences. But overall, there are many different types of products for information um, that translate over, again, no pun intended there, to a different market because they have the same problems and they need solutions uh, for those things you know, within their country. And so there are some licensing opportunities for you if you have successful info products that you sell to try to find someone in different countries where you can give them a licensing deal and the right to sell your products uh, you know, in that country that they're from. So there's a number of ways that you can do this. And you can Google licensing agreements or licensing options, things like that, and get some different ideas. You can do it on an exclusive basis. So you give them like the territory. I mentioned I know a marketer that has licensed their products to somebody in Japan. Um, I know someone else doing stuff with Singapore, which is another big market. And uh, Singapore, I think most people there speak English. So the products don't even really need to be translated. They're just marketed there by someone that, you know, that's really their market in Singapore. But um, so you can, again, you can do exclusive where they have the territory, let's say, to sell your info products in Japan and no one else can. You can do it for, you know, a limited time where it's a one-year deal and then it will renew per year at your option. You can do non-exclusive. Uh, you can do contingency based upon, you know, it needs to be, you know, reach certain revenue uh, amounts. Otherwise, the deal is off, you know, after 12 months. Because certainly if you do an exclusive, let's say, to someone in Japan and they sell $2,000 worth, it's not even worth it, you know, when you take your percentage of whatever that is. So you may want to have some things into a contract that gives you an out where you could still license it to someone else in Japan uh, if the person you license with isn't able to produce many sales. But in many of these licensing deals, it's based on a royalty. So you'll get a percentage, you know, typically around 10%. Sometimes it could be, you know, 5% or even 15% uh, of the total sales volume that someone produces. So 10% is pretty common. So let's say you have a, a weight loss product, which is like, you know, a fitness program for lifting weights and recipes for eating right, so on and so forth. And you want to license that to different countries and different markets. And someone else is going to go through the trouble to translate it and to do everything else. And you just you do a licensing deal where you give them the rights to sell your products and use your marketing in their country, you know, in their language market. And they'll give you 10% of all the gross sales that they produce, you know, selling your products. So it's a win-win. They get 90% of products they don't have to make that are proven sellers. And you get 10% from a, a, you know, a country, a language market that you probably never would have spent your time in. So there's all different opportunities. Even with uh, physical products, you may be manufacturing a product or, you may have some thing you invented or there's maybe some product that you're importing. And, you know, if you're doing some unique things with it, how you labeled it or, or how you're positioning it, you could also do a licensing deal with that physical product where you could allow someone in another country to, uh, to sell that product. So, again, it's not only info products and information. It can also be, you know, physical products uh, and different types of products that you can do these licensing deals with. And like I just said, you simply get paid royalties on any sales that your licensee makes. Now, you can do a flip side of this licensing process, and you can expand your business by licensing products from other companies in, for example, non-English primary markets. When I say non-English primary markets, I mean countries where English isn't the first language. So, for example, Spain, Germany, France, China, Korea, 
You know, those are other markets where English may be spoken there, but it's not the primary language. So you could find, let's say, a very popular info product type of course or something that's selling well over there um, where you could license it and then have it translated and then you just sell the same thing or something similar uh, in, let's say, the United States or in the primary English uh, different nations. So there are all kinds of opportunities you can do with licensing deals. And of course, you would then pay them royalties on all the sales that you make. But it's a great way to easily expand your business by adding new products that you don't have to create um, that someone has already done. So it goes both ways. A lot of opportunities to do these kind of deals with people in other countries. And, you know, by now, the Internet is just it's making the world a smaller and smaller place. And Facebook is now reaching almost two billion people. And so... People in almost every major country, uh, they're using Facebook. So people can be reached through the Facebook ad platform in all these different countries. So a lot of opportunities to, to make money. I think that's the next frontier for entrepreneurs online is generating traffic and selling products to non-English uh, markets because the English markets will eventually get very saturated from competition and so there's more low-hanging fruit and I believe higher profits and bigger ROI to be made uh, by going after some opportunities in these other markets. So something you want to look into.